Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another live programming video. Today, I want to take a look at something that came up in one of the issues recently on the Komorebi issue tracker. Uh, this user said, I think WHKD will also benefit from having a config flag should I open a feature request and link it to this issue. Uh, I did give it a thumbs up, but the user didn't, but I still think this is a good idea to do anyway. So to get started, we can take a look at the the code for WHKD and actually we don't even need to look at the code. We can see in the dependencies, we're not even using clap. <laughs> we're just going, we're just raw dogging it and going straight into main. So. I guess the first thing that we need to do is import clap. Let's uh, let's stick to the same version that we're using in Como RBC. Uh, version four. Uh, I don't think we need wrap help for this. It's not it's not that deep. It is really really not that deep. Um, but something I do need to figure out is um, we'll just dig into the examples here. Um, derive quick. That oh, I don't want multiple commands. I just want um, I don't want subcommands either. I just want it to run on. Yeah, I think this is it. Mode can be one of, t oh no, I just want flags. Uh, apps maybe. All right, this, this is the one that I want. So let's take a look at this, right. So we can start from here. So we'll say we have the same thing, a struct CLI. Uh, we'll have a config, which takes, hmm, I think it might have to be a string because we need to do some funny business with the path on windows. Um, maybe config. Uh, oh no, that's cool. It can be an option path buff. Uh, and that can be path to WHKDRC. Uh, I guess we need to derive a bunch of stuff. So we definitely need to derive parser. Um, command, uh, you know what? I think we should be able to pull in a bunch of this stuff from, do I, do I have a CLI struct here? Uh, let's see, let's see. What? does subcommand get wrapped in? Subcommand, opts, okay. So we can just grab all of this stuff, which I think is a bit nicer than doing this because this is just gonna look it up from our cargo toml. Uh, all right, that looks good. So, all right, we'll install color Ira, Ira, uh, and then we'll get CLI. And shell binary, WHKDRC. All right, so, oh, it's so hot with the DPI, <laughs> that's so high. Um, so it's either 
gonna be that or all right so if we say that whenever we are given a config if cli dot config if let some config equals cli dot config then we shall load config um right uh so we can do that whkdrc equals that otherwise um whkdrc dot and clone actually i'm not sure we need to clone it but yeah, I, I, okay, we do. We do, we do need to clone it because we cannot move. Uh, I believe we now have bacon, so let's run that on the side, giving us some feedback. Uh, so we're going to WHKDRC. Okay, oh, okay, change that, change that, change that. Ah, uh, right, I, I see, I see. Uh, hmm, okay. So this is taking from that global. I think that's the only thing that is taking from that global. So for register, we can make this take a shell. And I think that'll be shell. Uh, and if shell, is yeah okay that looks right um but that has given us this error right so we've added this um this new required argument so we need to make sure whenever we're calling this that we are passing on the shell um oh huh, wait do i not um, this can derive copy since it's just a plain old enum. Okay, that's, that's a lot better. Um, and that is now happy. Very nice. I'm glad that you're happy. I am happy too. All right. And then I, th I think the rest of that stays the same. Let me just run Clippy on this. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Um, all right, let's see the first one. Variables can be used directly in the format string. Uh, okay, I guess we can do that. Uh, 45. Mm. Unwrap or else panic. Uh, expect function call. Oh, okay. Unwrap or else. Panic. Is that what you wanted? Uh, and this can be used directly. Let's see. Yeah, obviously you can't call display on a path buff. So why did you tell me I could? Uh, 
why is it like this? Is there like some special syntax that I don't know? Oh, oh, that's crazy. I had no idea you could do that. All right. I like it. I like it. I'm going to start doing this. That is, that is a very cool syntax. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Rust still surprises me every day. Um, instead, try, I'm not going to type all this out. I'm just going to do some copy pasta. All about the copy pasta. Uh, oof. And why don't we thump this? No. Cargo nightly thumped. Oh, nasty. What is that? There we go. And so, oh, I forgot to declare that variable. So let's fix that up. Um, and then we can use the same fancy syntax here. Oh, I, I love this syntax. Beautiful. Um, this is going to be unwrap or else. Um, you know what? I, I can see why this is a clippy recommendation. It's a lot more, it, it just seems a lot more intuitive, like unwrap this or else panic, I think is, is better than, uh, expect when you're calling a function like that. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, so that was one thing. Oh, Epic games. Um, all right, so that was one of the things I wanted to do. I th you know what? I think that should be all right. So why don't we um, stop Pomerebi will kill WHKD as well. Um, do I have a just install? No. I'll go install path. It has been a minute since I ran this locally, so uh, please bear with me while this compiles. So what I expect now is if I run WHKD help, yeah, yeah, looking good. Mm, and I guess previously, this would have panicked. Could not load. Okay, this, yeah, this is looking a bit nicer. So if I just run WHKD, all right, yeah, that's expected because Komorebi is not online. But if I do uh, WHKD config, uh, config WHKDRC, that should also work, right? Yeah, it's picked up all of the commands. So let's um, do home RPC start user profile, but I won't start WHKD, right? So I'm starting this uh, and even though like I'm trying to do um, uh, movements in each direction, I can't because WHKD is not running. So let's move this back to the middle and then I'm gonna do WHKD config, WHKDRC. Sweet, and now you can see everything that I'm doing You've got the logging. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So um, let's run the Fumpt again. Fumpt is looking good. Uh, Clippy here is looking happy. I think we can go ahead and commit this. Uh, 
All right, all right. Maybe I should take this opportunity to also um, upgrade the various dependencies. Uh, I think I'm on top of most of the upgrades from Dependabot, but um, uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, and let's try this, you know, maybe, maybe there are breaking changes. Maybe there aren't, we will see, we will see. Pros, ah, that's not good. 183 window dot. Uh, Process ID, process path. Uh, I'm not sure about this. Uh, let me just run WHKD in the background again. So this library is active when position RS. Uh, and let's see what was in the change log renamed process name field to app name. All right. Yeah. So that is indeed the change that we want and it lets us stay up to date. Cool. Let's add all of that. Um, this is all sorted, isn't it? There we go. Now it's sorted. <laughs> um, so we got that and let's just run a little cargo update. Uh, lock file is updated. We can kill this and install again, just to, you know, do a little sanity check. Um, we should update the readme. The readme on this is, is pretty bad to be honest. Uh, it's configuration file is a series by default. If you are compiling from the master branch, a config flag is also available, which when used overrides um, the WHKD config home environment variable. This Flag will be made available in what well, version are we on now? And VO.1.3 plus. Sweet. Is that? Yeah, that looks good. So uh, let's craft a nice commit message Come on. WHKD. Let's go. What do my commit message styles look like here? All right. So this is going to be a feature, I believe I did something else on config before. How did I, hmm. Oh, somebody else did that. Uh, all right, feet config, add, let's see a life flag for to add CLI flag to increase portability. This commit introduces the clap RS crate to allow users to specify the WHKDRC location with 
a dash dash config flag when used the this flag will take precedence over the default location and any location specified using the what's the environment variable with the whkd config home environment variable nice uh, no breaking changes thankfully um let me check i don't think there's an issue for this uh, no there is not so let's uh hit no for that then let's just make this look pretty yeah what happened uh oh i'm still not running whkd that's why <laughs> so much muscle memory um yeah uh, let's just put this on a new line and i think we are good i think we're good so i'm gonna go ahead and push that uh, if you would like to try that out i believe this is going to trigger a new build uh, so the way that works is when it goes green click on the green go to summary and you can download the artifacts if they have not expired. This one is quite old. Um, otherwise, you can install this from source. Uh, you clone, if you have Rust, then you can just do cargo install dash dash path current working directory if you're in the WHKD repo directory. So yeah, let's, uh, let's wrap up. Um, I want to give a real quick shout out to all of the people who have been sponsoring Como Revy WHKD. Uh, I really appreciate every single one of you very, very much. That's why I like going through one by one. So thank you to Betchy, Maxwell, Brady, Solomon, Alex, Julian, and Hisayuki, your support is what makes all of this possible. If you too would like to support Komorebi, support WHKD, uh, you can head over to the sponsor button on any of my repositories, I think. And from there, you can sign up to be a sponsor. Um, honestly, you don't have to sponsor much, even a dollar a month, it makes a very, very big difference to me. If you would like to support but are not able to become a sponsor, uh, then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You're probably watching uh, this video there right now, so you know, hit subscribe. Uh, there are a lot of uh, Como Rebi and WHKD related videos. Um, there are many, many tutorials. There are always more coming up and of course all of these live development videos. All right, that is, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something from this. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. Cool. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.